It's almost like we've had a death in the family. The Australian larrikin, where is he? Where is she? Gone, it seems, replaced by shrews and scolds of both sexes. Shrews and scolds and sanctimonious preachers. It's like we went to bed still smiling at Les Patterson and woke up to Anna Band shouting, racist, racist, racist. More about him later in the show, or not. But Rowan Dean will be straight on after this show and uh, he will prove to you that larrikins <laughs> are still there because he's interviewed some of them, <laughs> talked to some of the most famous, maybe including some of your favourites, and Rowan Dean, the host of Outsiders on Sunday, as you can see, joins me right now. Uh, Rowan, you've called your show tonight, 8pm, straight after this, the death of the Australian larrikin, but then you put a question mark at the end of it because you weren't <laughs> quite so sure who's still alive that you've interviewed. Uh, well, it's not so much that. It's have they succeeded? Has political correctness... By the way, terrific show this evening, Andrew, just uh, riveting everything you've covered there and uh, very relevant to what we're talking about because the political correctness, the scourge of political correctness has tried to put a stranglehold around the Aussie larrikin to slowly choke it to death. Mm. Um, I think the Aussie larrikin is fighting back and I think the events we've seen over the past few days is only going to increase that fight back from the Aussie larrikin spirit. We're not talking about uh, larrikinism in the terms of this or that particular individual. It's that freedom-loving, freedom of expression, ability to say whatever you think and people will understand that you don't mean to cause offence, that you're having a laugh, you might be taking the mickey, uh, but that is the Australian ethos. And, Andrew, when I grew up in Canberra in the 70s, Hoags and Delvin Delaney and Barry Humphreys, yep. they were all our heroes. Uh, and we were proud of them, we loved them, we laughed at them. During the 80s, Andrew, when I went uh, and lived in London, I couldn't believe how successfully we had exported the larrikin spirit uh, in art. Uh, you know, everyone from uh, from uh, the filmmakers like uh, Crocodile Brett Dundee, Whiteley, Gallipoli... Brett Peter the Weir. Brett Whiteley, uh, I'd and add Brett to Whiteley, that. Brett Whiteley, absolutely. Clive James uh, the, had a bit of a larrikin in him. Jermaine Greer, probably 100%. our greatest in larrikin. Pop music, <laughs> exactly, in sport. And we exported it and we were proud of it. And the rest of the world, Andrew, envied us that. And they looked at us and said, this is the land of the free. These people are genuinely free. The most successful multi-racial, multicultural planet on earth. And look at this amazing freedom they have. They're, they joke with each other. They take the mickey. Mm. And that was the spirit that I wanted to see if that still exists or has political correctness succeeded in killing it off. And what we did, Andrew, we sat down, we went back through a lot of those old gags from the 70s, the 80s and the 90s, and the tears were running down people's faces as they were watching them and laughing. And then we discussed, well, is that appropriate? Is that inappropriate? Is that sexist? Is that racist? And that's what we do in the show. And you'll be surprised at the different ideas and thoughts that come out. But what strikes me, particularly, Andrew, in the last few days with Chris Lilly, and you mentioned the colonial beer ridiculous nonsense and coon cheese. We are at a point now where we have to choose. Every Australian now has to choose. I'm on the side of the political correctness wowsers, or am I actually going to stand up for free speech and the genuine larrikin spirit of this nation? Yeah, I have to say, uh, Rowan, I'm... I'm afraid your question mark's almost redundant because, you know, you've got Barry Humphreys you mentioned, right? And he had his, uh, his name taken off the Premier Award of the Melbourne Comedy Festival. That's right. You talk about your, our great friend, or your great friend particularly, Bill Leake, who was hounded to his death. You talk to his son, Johannes, who's doing a fabulous job uh, as a cartoonist himself. He was hounded to his death. Uh, Mate, I'm I'm having trouble. Kerry Ann Kennelly, in you know, dragged before one tribunal after another, or accused of this or that horrible crime against thought. You talk to her. I'm starting to wonder, mate. You take that question mark off. <laughs> well, maybe you may be right, and that would be a sad day for Australia. But it's never too late, Andrew. It's never too late. And I think we're realising now, particularly in the last week or so, just how determined they are to expunge everything to do with our Australian past, our Australian culture, our Australian ethos, and let's start to fight to get it back because, seriously, we will just keep on losing. I've got my beer ready, Andrew. I'm going to watch with the VB. I've got wrong, the beer. wrong beer. Wrong beer, mate. Got, it's all You've got there. the wrong beer. This is the one. The real... <laughs> I've got colonial. I've got the sauce. I've oh, got the sauce oh, as well. Brilliant. But, I, but seriously, what we need to do, Andrew, is everybody should phone up today and order a case of colonial beer. 
and make sure that they keep the colonial beer flowing. That's what I would I be doing. I better check to see if we're <laughs> recommending a good one, mate. I'm not 100% sure. <laughs> well, Scott, the whole top pulls off. I wonder what that's about. Mm. Cheers. Well, it's a small ale. Uh, what's it? Small ale. It's actually very it nice. Well, Colonial people should beer. Be buying it. And people get should it be and see it. Cheese. And coon cheese, beer exactly. and cheese. Does that go? It's wine and cheese. Never mind. We're standing up for Australia. <laughs> coon cheese and colonial beer. Go Absolutely. for it, Rowan Dean. All the success with your show tonight. I'm Thanks, sure mate. it's going to rate its socks off like uh, Outsiders did uh, last Sunday. Good on you. Thanks, Andrew.